this. This fight I'm probably looking forward to the most. Speaking to these two fighters over the past two days, these two, two of the most confident fighters that I've seen in a long time. Both of them are undefeated. Morgan, the Yoga Flame, Oriahi, he's coming in with an amateur record of 5-0 and and 1-0 and as a pro. So he's won six straight. Aaron Reeves is 4-0 as a professional, 3-0 as an amateur. So he's coming in with seven straight. So somebody's all must go in this next fight. I think, uh, if, 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 if I'm not Reeves mistaken, I think Reeves games. actually Morgan. lost one. Oriahi. I saw him lose to... Uh, Kevin something out of, uh, he was in Lubbock for a that, show. That is possible. He has one draw as an amateur. He's 3-0-1 according to my records and whenever uh, I spoke to him. But Well, it's, it's going to be a great fight nonetheless. Uh, Arahi is, I've seen him fight many times, and he's a handful. And I've seen Reeves fight, Reeves fight many times, and he's very technical. Trains under legendary Saul Solis Metro Fight Club. they got a lot of tough guys over there, and Saul definitely, definitely knows what he's doing. Definitely. And here we see Morgan, the Yoga Flame Oriahi. Asked him where he got that nickname. He says he looks like a cross between Dalsim and Sagat from Street about Fighter 2. That's an interesting nickname. Never and he's proud that. of it. He likes it. Yeah. He likes being referred to the, the Yoga Flame. And watching some of his highlights, this you know, this is a young up-and-coming guy with a lot of potential. And so Yeah, this he's is very be, athletic. This is gonna be an eliminator between two of the area's best fighters, young up and coming fighters. Yeah, more, and Orahi's gonna be the bigger fighter in this uh, matchup. Reeves is a, it's a little short for 70. Um, I think Reeves is looking to go to 155 after this fight. That's that's the rumor. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna have his hands full. Reeves can win this fight. He can, but he's gotta be smart. Oriahi trains out of the O Athletic. That's a gym that was recently opened up by Adrian Peterson. He started that place primarily so the Texans and the Dymo have a place to train. And speaking with Oriahi, he says that's where the pro athletes come to train. So he works on a, when asked about his specific training, he quoted a lot of fighters as far as Conor McGregor and Anderson Silva. He likes to emulate, you know, how they got successful. And so he does a lot of movement into his training. Yeah. Doesn't matter where this fight goes, he feels comfortable both on the ground and in the striking. You're gonna see some dynamic striking from him. He, he, he does some some unorthodox stuff. Kind of reminds me of uh, Uriah Hall, the UFC. You know, he'll throw some uh, unorthodox stuff, but it works for him because he's he's athletic, he gets away with it. You know, uh, I see him throw some really nice flying knees and some spin kicks and things like that. Um, and I know he was training with uh, Victor Pozas, which is a, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt under Dean Lister. Uh, Victor Pozas, so, uh, uh, strictly does no gi. He doesn't do any gi at his gym. Uh, they call it the dark side. So um, now that he's over there, he's probably one of the head guys over at O Athletic uh, running that gym for Adrian Peterson. But uh, he's trained around the city. So he's got head coach James Johnson's in his corner. William Morris helped him with his wrestling he's to prepare for this cage, fight. Aaron and now we get to see Aaron Reeves come down to the cage, fighting out of Metro Fight Club, ran by Saul Solis. Yeah, and those guys fight anybody. I mean, they're, they're a tough group of guys, and, and Saul puts them, puts them through the ringer day in, day out. It's old school training over there. It's hot. Uh, so, you know, like I said, Reeves can win this fight. Uh, he's going to have to stifle the, uh, the creativity uh, that, that Orahi brings. Um, but if he, he can do that with fundamentals, he can win this fight. When asking Reeves about his aspirations in the mixed martial arts world, he has aspirations to make it to the UFC soon. He feels that he's one or two fights away. He's a former football player, Taekwondo is in his background. He started training mixed martial arts at age 22. He's now 27, so he's been pretty successful for the past five years with a 4-0 professional record. A win here tonight would definitely add to his cause in making it to the UFC. Yeah, you don't see many guys make it to the UFC with 4-0 and 5-0 records. I mean, he's really going to have to, to, to fight some top-level competition next if he wants to get in there, you know, an ex-UFC vet or something like that. If he, if he does uh, win this fight, uh, you know, he could get in there with 6-0, 7-0, but he's got he's to take the right fights. He's got to fight the right guys. Interesting to see how Reeves is going to handle the height differential. Reeves standing at 5'9", Oriahi standing at 6'2". Reeves stands orthodox while Oriahi likes to mix it up. And so it's going to be interesting to see if Reeves can solve the puzzle that is the Yoga Flame Oriahi. Yeah, like I said, I know Reeves is looking to go to 155 after this fight, possibly. 
He's definitely going to be the shorter guy in the cage tonight. Yeah. Both of these guys look tough. They're both tough guys. It's, it's anybody's fight. Fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet two inches tall and weighed in 168 pounds. Representing O Athletic. He has a perfect professional record of one and oh. This is the yoga flame, Morgan Oriyaki. Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet ten inches tall. Oriyaki is a little older. He's like 32, pounds. right? Oriyaki is 31 Metro, years old. MMA. He has a professional record. Reeves, 27. Wins, only one defeat. This is Aaron Reeves. Okay. Yeah, so he does have one defeat. So I stand corrected. Reeves is standing at four and one, not four and zero. Oh. Still an outstanding record. And we have referee Chris Reed begins the fight. We got an interesting fight on our hands between Reeves and Oriahi. You know, Oriyahi likes to counter punch. He likes, like I said, throw unorthodox stuff. He's real long. You can see he tagged him a little bit with that right hand from way far away. So he's going to have his hands full with the distance here. Definitely. He really needs to use his feints. He needs to use his feints to get Oriyahi moving, and then, and then he can counter. I agree with you. Definitely. That's one of the first things you notice is that long reach advantage, that eagle wingspan of Oriyahi. And because of that, he's able to control the cage in the center. And that, you know, that scores points, too. Reeves needs to work his way to the inside to see if he can open up Oriahi. These two are feeling each other out. Yeah, and Oriahi needs to use those straight, long punches. Near slip there by Oriahi. Recovers quickly. Reeves used the feints. He can get in, but he's got to use the feints. A guy that long, you got to get him thinking. Good check by Oriahi. We see them striking right now, but Reeves is not afraid to go for the takedown. He says one of his favorite techniques is the double leg takedown, so possibly look for an opening for that here shortly. Yeah, I can see that he probably definitely wants to get Oriahi on his back. He's, he, he's, he's countering with that switch kick over and over and over, which is actually having a little bit of success. When you got a guy as long as arms as is, is, is Oriahi, sometimes you got to use the legs first. Oriahi looking very composed, looking for his opening. When asked about his toughest fight, he says a five-round fight with Craig the Gave Craveman Grove, where he won a five-round decision where he could not make a mistake. He walked out of that fight a better and more composed fighter. Yeah, he fought the you know the best of the best of the amateurs. He won a title. He fought Craig. I was there for that fight. His former was cage combat welterweight fight. champion, as you were saying. Last fight was March of this year. Been staying active. This is his second fight of this year. You know, these guys are, are giving respect to each other. Neither neither guy wants to really open up. Reeves' last fight was in June of this year, respectively. Also his second fight of the year. Still both fighters waiting to open up. Still feeling out process. Reeves is in the center of the cage, controlling the cage now. He's putting the pressure. Oriahi backs him off with those head kicks. Push kick attempt by Reeves. Another switch kick from Reeves. It'd be nice to see him throw a right hand and walk right into that switch kick. Reeves, a former football player, so you know he's got a lot of athletic ability. Trains hard every day at a Metro Fight Club. Yeah, and you can hear Reeves' corner calling for more than one. I mean, you really got to put some punches together on a guy like Arahi because he's so long. To overcome that reach is quite the task set for Mr. Aaron Reeves. Slip there by Reeves. Oriana tried to follow up with a one-two. One thing I don't like about what Reeves is doing is he's throwing one jab and dropping his hand and then moving his head away. 
And, and that is not a good idea to do that. If you throw one jab and you drop your hand, you, I mean, you're just open for so many different things. You've got to pump that jab right down the middle and bring it right back to the chin every time. Talking about Oriahi? No, I'm talking about Reeves. He's throwing jabs and then, and then moving his chin away and dropping his hand when he's, when he's returning. And when you're fighting a longer fighter, you cannot afford to have your hands low. That's right. Spinning back kick attempt from the Yoga Flame, Oriahi. Yeah, Reeves doesn't keep his hands up very much. That can get you in trouble late in rounds. A little bit better. See, there goes that drop, dropping that lead hand again. Seen very few, if at all, takedown attempts in this first round. And as I say that, we see Oriahi go for the takedown. Yeah, he gets it. And, and he, he scores. With it. I believe he stole secured that round. I mean, that was a quick takedown. He's athletic for a big guy. Short time left in this first round. Oriahi ends on top with a solid takedown. He definitely won that round for that takedown. For that and takedown. first round is in the books. Speaking with Oriahi yesterday, he felt very relaxed, very composed, was shared with me a lot of his background. Used to be a World of Warcraft nerd is what he says he used to be before he became a mixed martial artist. Has aspirations to make it to the UFC and be the best in the world is what his words, to be the best in the world. Born in Oklahoma, but has lived in Houston since he was 10 years old. Reeves opting to stand in between rounds. What do you feel about that, Jace, when fighters decide to stand in between rounds? Do you think, think that's a good idea? I think it's mental toughness, and, and I love it. I mean, I never did it, but uh, I wish I would have. Because, <laughs> oh, I mean. I, I am the opposite. I took every second I could to catch my breath. You know, hey, yeah. brother, if you want to stand and show mental toughness, hey, more power to you, my man. Yep. That's, uh, everybody's different. Chris Reed about to start the second round. Second round is officially on their way. Touch up by the fighters. Fast feet there by the Yoga Flame, Oriahi. Oh, oh and he hurt. is rocked. He's hurt bad. Power of Reeves has Oriahi in trouble. Looking for a stoppage, and referee Chris Reeves comes in for the stoppage. Wow, Reeves Chris coming Reeves the clutch. Chris Reeves with a TKO finish. Yeah. Oriahi protesting. Feels that it wasn't a legit stomach. Reeves with a solid victory. Big win for Aaron Reeves. Yeah, they just clipped him with that left hook, it looked like. Good job for Aaron. Nice, nice win. This kid's tough. Aaron Reeves, age 27, scored. Huge win tonight over Morgan, the Yoga Flame, Oriahi. Glad to see that Oriahi is being a good sport about it. Looked a little upset there at first, but was able to get justification by referee Chris Reed on the stoppage. Aaron Reeves with a huge TKO victory tonight. Improving his record to five and one. Yeah, he looked good tonight. I'd like to see him clean up his, his striking a little bit. Uh, but man, he's got some power for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes 13 seconds into round number two for your winner by TKO, Aaron Reeves. Those Metro guys are back on the map, man. They're putting some 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 solid fighters out. Charles Cheeks is over there. You got. Uh, uh, Aaron Reeves, Jason Langlier, some really good guys over there. Oh, nice. Hamming it up there by Aaron Reeves. Actually, pretty impressive kick there. 